Hey guys, hey, no script today. Welcome back to the channel. Today's Saturday, June the 15th, 2019. And I'm really sorry I haven't put out a video in a couple of months. But, um, you know, when the weather turns nice, my day job takes over and, you know, it's just hard to, hard to find the time to uh, shoot the video, edit the video, and put the, the uh, video together and get it out to you. So I am really sorry. Um, but the weather has turned nice. And I do have a lot of content um, in the can that I've got to put together for my driveway project and my retaining wall. Uh, but today's video is about the very best modification I could possibly make to my 2016 06 Corvette and a modification that you really need to do right now. Here we are again on another rainy day. I finally get another opportunity to go out and try to do some zero to 60 times in the rain. The car has 11,319 miles on it right now, and I just put its third set of tires on this car. When I bought the car used, the original tires had already been worn out and replaced, and it had a brand new set of Michelin, uh, uh, Pilot Super Sport uh, ZP uh, summer only tires. You know, now with uh, 11,300 miles on it, I wore out the Pilot Super Sports. Do I replace the tires with the, uh, the Pilot Super Sports summer only, or do I go with the, uh, the Michelin uh, Pilot Sport all season? You know, so far the straight line traction is is significantly better than the the tires that I had on it, even when they were new. You know, it doesn't have to be 65 degrees outside, and the roads don't have to be warm. I mean, I've got almost instantaneous traction. You know, I really don't see the benefit in the Pilot Super Sports um, for somebody that's uh, basically daily driving their Corvette. I've also noticed, and I, it hasn't been really cold, but I've noticed that um, the, the, the tire chatter that you get with these cars when you turn sharp pulling out of a parking place or turn around when it's cold outside, I've not noticed it yet. Let's take a look at the, at the tread. Um, these actually have tread, and I drove it for the first time in the rain this morning, and it actually... Um, gave me a lot of confidence in driving the car in the rain and I'm I'm certain that I'm gonna have significantly better 0 to 60 times in the rain with these tires On asphalt, zero to sixty. <laughs> Three point nine. Now let's let's take a look and see what these are exactly. But these are Michelin. Uh, Pilot Sport AS3 Plus ZP, which is zero pressure. Uh, the fronts are factory size 285-30ZR19. Um, the backs are the factory size Pilot Sport AS3 Plus. Um, so far, the straight line traction is significantly better than the uh, Pilot Super Sport. I mean, I would highly recommend the, uh, the Pilot Sport all season. Oh, and they're significantly cheaper. Okay, I paid $309 each for the front tires. And I paid $359 each for the rear tires. No labor. And I also had to pay an $8 tire disposal fee for the old tires. And, you know, I really wanted to uh, give those tires a, uh, 
a final farewell with a big smoke show. <laughs> But uh, here we go guys, I'm going to take this out, do some 0 to 60s. Um, the last time I had it out in the rain when it had the old tires that prompted me to replace the tires, um, I, I could, on asphalt, I couldn't do better than 7 seconds. Now let's see if we can do a 0 to 60 in weather mode, wet roads in the rain. <laughs> nothing, nothing but spin. Yeah, 7.2. That's probably my worst 0 to 60 ever. I could probably do that in the snow. If you look back at one of my earlier videos, I did some 0 to 60 times in the rain with this car. I think I was able to consistently get in the in the fours, um, 0 to 60. Yeah, I these these all seasons. I mean, if you drive your car, I highly recommend them. It, it gives you confidence driving this car because you couldn't even put your big toe on the gas pedal without smoking the back tires. I mean, it just had zero traction unless the weather conditions were just absolutely perfect. You're on concrete. The tires were fully hot. It was, you know, 65, 70 degrees outside with low humidity. I mean, they were worthless on asphalt. It, it was just, I mean, I... Other than maybe, you know, uh, track ability in perfect conditions, I don't know why they put those goddamn tires on these cars. Um, so, yeah, let's go. It's Saturday, May the 4th, 2019. I'm in the Z06. I'm going to do some 0 to 60 times in the rain. It's raining right now. And, um,. This will be the first opportunity I've had to try 0 to 60 times with my new uh, all-season Michelin Pilot Sport uh, ZP tires. Uh, they're not the Super Sports, they actually have tread, and so far I am very impressed. The uh, overall traction, straight line traction on dry road is significantly better than the uh, Pilot Super Sports that I had on here even when those tires were were brand new and this car with those tires I mean in all honesty is fucking dangerous I mean it, it just right there I just gave it just a little bit of gas and it gripped and, and ripped it, it, it didn't I didn't put it to the floor I wasn't doing a drag race uh, start but it took off, you know, and, and before, with the other tires, even on dry pavement, if it was asphalt, if you gave it just a little bit of gas, you're spinning tires. You know, and I, I mean, they have to be better at, at some, some point, they have to be better or they wouldn't sell them, they wouldn't be so expensive. And it, it has to be in perfect uh, track conditions. But for somebody like me that wants to drive their car out on public roads in, you know, most weather conditions, rain included, I'm telling you, you need the all-season pilot sports. You know, fuck the super sports. They're too expensive, they wear out too fast, and if you're going to drive the car, you're going to get a lot more enjoyment out of the car with um, the all season. I mean, I'm pulling out in traffic. Before, I, would, I wouldn't have, in the rain, I wouldn't have attempted it because you can't get any, any traction with the uh, super sports. Yeah, these tires, man, I'm telling you. I, I just can't, I can't tell you enough that if you want to drive your car, when you wear out your super sports or your cup tires, unless you're taking it to the track, and tracking the car, get all season Michelin Pilot Sports. It, it, it just really changes 
the whole feel and confidence you have driving the car. You know, I mean, I, I, I can drive it like a normal car, you know, I can, I can give it some gas without worrying about spinning out or running into the ditch or, you know, like a normal car with normal tires, I mean, you can just about drive it, drive them in the rain damn near as hard as you can drive them in the dry. Still can't do that with this car, but at least I can drive it and feel confident because the traction is, I just can't say it enough how vastly improved the the everyday driving of this car is with the all-season Michelin tires. I got to turn on one of these side roads. I got I, I'm, I got to do some zero to 60s. I know it's going to be significantly better. Yeah, you know, I, I often wonder why you see so many of these cars um, for sale used with such low mileage. And I would guess that it's just because the cars are so powerful and with those tires on it, I mean, they're flat freaking dangerous. Even with all the electronics on, it, it has to scare the shit out of most people. Now, this isn't a very good road, but we're, we're going to try one anyway. We're out in the country. So let's, uh, let's do, let's do my first zero to 60 on my all season Michelin Pilot Sport tires. Wow, very first time, 4.0 on asphalt in the rain in touring mode. I didn't even put it in weather mode. We gotta do it again. I, I could do better than that. Impressive. Tried to get on it a little harder from the beginning that time, but 4.2. Wow. Hell, a couple weeks ago, I couldn't do, on asphalt, I couldn't do under 7 seconds with my worn out uh, Super Sports. Wow. Let's try another one. much spin 4.9 but still I'm in the fours and that first run was uh, 4.0 unbelievable that's crazy I'm gonna go to my concrete spot I, I get I guarantee I'm gonna do in the threes in the rain tires all season Michelins this this road here is a little bit better I'm gonna try it right here this is a main road out in the country but let's try it and yeah, 5.1 I must have got lucky on that first run yeah, I'm out in the country on some country roads which are not the best road conditions but I've got a couple of spots where I have a, a pretty good concrete uh, launch pad okay here we go 0 to 60 touring mode manual shift taking off in second gear in the rain Fucking seven in the rain, touring mode, all weather tires, um, manual shift, uh, paddle shift mode, taking off in second gear. 3.7. Wow. Yeah, I'm impressed with these tires. I am impressed. Yeah, 3.7. I had concrete. You know, I had a concrete launching pad. I, I doubt that I'll be able to beat 3.7. Hell, 
a lot of these guys can't do 3.7 on dry pavement with these cars. You know, I just can't get over the increased performance and drivability and just overall everything that these Michelin Pilot Sport non-Super Sport all season tires have brought to this Chevy Z06. Anyone that has a Z06 supercharged or even a regular Corvette you owe it to yourself to give it a try because it brings a whole different driving aspect and fun factor to this car. I've only driven this car I'm sure less than not even a tank full of gas a half tank of gas on these tires in rain and dry and haven't even yet to to feel what they'll really do and I'm already a believer it's a whole different car I'm telling you it's just a whole different car maybe I'm going over the top but I, I just I mean I drive this car I try to drive this car pretty hard I've done 0 to 60 in the rain and I've done it on the dry and on concrete and asphalt and and I, I haven't done much with these on dry pavement I mean I did a 3.7 in the rain on these tires, that's unheard of. Son of a gun, I'm about out of gas. Yeah, but man, this is uh, a... <clears throat> you know, maybe I just don't understand the, how the Super, the, the super Sport tires, the Michelin Pilot Super Sports are supposed to work. But for just me, for an average guy driving my blue collar supercar, um, the uh, all all season tires are. I, I can't even explain it. I mean, it's just the the car is a whole different car. I mean, before it was really a just a. I mean a. A scary fucking I mean just you know dangerous scary beast and it still is that but in a in a contr more controllable kind of way I mean it is really a different car unbelievable now I get to enjoy the fucking car man I mean <laughs> god if you how many people have bought these cars and got out on those tires, and especially if they were cold or if the or if the weather conditions, and they weren't really expecting it and kicked it down, and it just they probably lost it in their shorts. And you still have to know what you're doing, but these tires are fucking great for this car. These are the tires for the guy that wants to drive his car on the street going to the store going to Lowe's going to your buddies taking a drive out in the country just wherever driving the car driving them driving it you know not taking it for a little ride and just you know not I mean driving it yeah anyone that has a C7 Corvette, and I'm sure that it is. It'll it'll be the same story in most any other car that uses super high performance tires. And maybe I'm just not, I'm late to the game, and this is old news. But I I haven't really. Well, I guess I haven't researched it, but it hasn't just popped up about all season tires on Corvettes. But anybody with a Z06 or a regular Stingray, you owe it to yourself to put some Michelin Pilot Sport ZP zero pressure run flat all season tires on your car. You will love it. Let's do a zero to 60 here. I gotta do at least one even with, with an empty tank of gas. Hopefully I don't run out. Seven. Now 
it, it doesn't feel like the engine is too much. It doesn't feel like it's just way too super bad and that you just can't, you can't drive it. it now it grips and gets. And I got a freaking car in front of me. I don't want to, damn it, I can't go this way. I got to turn around. But <clears throat> I haven't done a lot of car stuff and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm it's it's finally the weather's coming. The weather's coming. I've I've got a decent camera and I'm gonna shoot some savage content with this Corvette. Fuel range low. It doesn't even tell me how far I can go now, it just says low. Yeah, that'd be embarrassing if I ran out of gas with this fucking thing and it and it very well could. You know, that's something that I never pay attention to the fuel gauge in this car. I've never had a car, even my 2014 Stingray, I never had a car that I drove that I didn't know when I was getting low on gas until the light came on. This car, and just having so much damn fun that I'm not paying attention to how much gas I have. God, this car, man. This car with these tires is so much more fun. I just can't say it enough. I, I, I guess I need to I need to try to come up with a, a, a better and different description of how excited I am about these damn tires. How it's changed this car. All right, I've made it to the station. Now let's get some fuel. You know, I know you have no control if somebody, if you pull up to a pump and somebody, somebody pulls up, you know, somebody pulls out and you're, and there's room in front of you. But try, I mean, if you pull, if you're pulling in to get gas and there's nobody in front of you, pull up to the, the most, the furthest up pump to give room behind you. Don't pull up to the first one and leave it and make it harder for other people to pull in to get fuel. Don't be an asshole. And use your goddamn turn signals. You know, sorry about the language, but it's simple. I mean, I, I can't believe there's so many accidents, and it's all stupid shit. People didn't stop at the stop sign. They didn't use their turn signal. They didn't use any common sense on the way, the speed, and in which they were driving. I mean, come on. It's freaking simple. When you're on the road in public, drive like you have a, a brain. Drive with some sense, use your turn signals, let people know what you're doing. Okay, I just got gas, uh, filled up the tank. That's the most fuel I've ever put in this car. Um, it was as close to empty as possible. I have no idea what the capacity of the tank is, but I put 16.936 gallons of fuel in. But now I have a full tank. Yeah, before, I mean, with the other tires, with a full tank and and as warm as I could get the tires, I mean, hell, maybe those tires, you got to get them hot on a track for them to really get sticky. That might be. I, I don't know. You know, maybe that's my whole problem with those tires. Maybe they are really super good, but they've really got to get it warmer than I've ever gotten them just driving on the street. I don't know. But without doing that just driving this car on the street these all-season tires are incredible but for for regular driving I'm thoroughly impressed yeah it, it is a I mean it is a drivable freaking car now it doesn't feel like it's just so super bad that you can't even get on it dropping off some mail yeah but hey guys I just I, I am, I just cannot get over it, and I'm going to say this over and over and over and over again until I wear you out with it, how the personality and drivability of this 2016 Z06 with the Z07 package, supercharged 650 horsepower, how these tires have made this car at the very least manageable and I mean and just an unbelievable difference in the driving experience yeah I mean that that's a freaking no-brainer why somebody like me that wants to drive their car on the street 
as much as the weather will allow why you wouldn't put these on. Yeah, I mean, it makes the darn car drivable. I mean, you still have to have some skill and be careful with what you're doing, but before, with the Pilot Sports, I mean, it was just a... How do I describe it? I mean, you couldn't hardly even give it the gas without worrying about spinning out. If you didn't have the traction control on, it was, it's, they're dangerous. But now I can put it down, and hey, it may spin a little bit, but it's gripping and ripping. You know, I, I'm sure I don't really understand the, uh, the, the intended use of the Pilot Super Sport tires, but as far as I'm concerned, they're a piece of shit for what I want to use this car for and what I would guess that most people that buy these cars are not taking them to the track. You know, they're driving them on the street. And for street driving, the um, Michelin Pilot Sports, not Super Sport, Pilot Sport ZP All Weather are phenomenal. I just pulled out of the garage and the traction on a cold road on a 45 degree morning is fantastic.